Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Tears Tarot. We are here to take a look at um, that refresh of the energy for mid-August. So it's been a wild month. I mean, if you looked at the note or if you looked at the reading that came in for the general reading and even the soulmates reading, which completely agreed with it um, at the beginning of the month, you would see there was a lot of change that was going to come, um, perhaps unsurprisingly, based on some of the things that are happening on more on a celestial level. Um, but it is absolutely been, not been a disappointment. So um, we're going to jump in and kind of see how things are going and refresh the energy. What it looked like back in um, the beginning of August was that it was uh it was going to be an kind of an intense month for you but you were going to make it look good. I remember seeing um that that sort of feeling really came out. Um so we're going to take another look and just kind of refresh and see where things are now. It'll be a general reading for the collective. So if you feel like it resonates with you, um maybe you are part of the collective. Um you are invited to take a look at some of the older older messages. Um of course, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to look at the energetic and emotional backdrop, but we're going to look at it for the rest of the month of um, August. So taking a look here. Hmm, no, sometimes when they pop out like that, even if they're face down, um, they do still want to be used. So we've got the visionary. I don't think I've seen that one come out for you um, in this deck before. And so, no. Okay, so the visionary, this is the Knight of Scrolls. It's air energy. It's like the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is, um, this is the part of the month that if you're not already feeling a little um, triggered by intense things that may be coming, um, this is something that you're going to be able to, it's like one of those things that's good to know it's coming um, because basically it's, it's, a, it's an intense energy and you may be prepared for it. Um, yeah, with the high, with the high priestess and the king of pentacles, I'd say you're prepared for it. You are more than prepared for it, but you're still looking for that thing that's going to make you happy. This isn't the same as the thing that's going to set your soul on fire necessarily, but this is what puts you on approach for that. Um, so the king of pentacles is this confidence that you have, um, even as you're approaching something that triggers you and makes you feel small. The high priestess is that feeling of the connection with your higher self, with with your higher power. It allows your intuition to come through and for you to feel a little bit more confident as you're working through this, even though you know it's like that old U2 song, you still haven't found what you're looking for. Um, but here's the thing, you're enjoying the path. It's not, or the journey. It's not necessarily, oh, I just have to get where I'm going. There's also the journey and you're on it. So um, there's a lot of that feeling of journeying here that happens um, during August. And the, the first half has been that way. The first half has been an awful lot of intensity leading towards, I think there are multiple towers happening during the course of this month. But again, you have that energy that it takes to kind of power through, push through, do what is needed. This is Knight of Wands. This is the tower. And you are... Um, you're a powerhouse, even as you move through all of these difficult things. This is incredibly similar to that energy that I felt at the beginning of August, where it was like, so this is intense, but you're making it look really good. You make it seem like, um, I don't know if you make it look easy exactly. It's more, um, you make it look more graceful than, than people would think. So they might look, if they have some idea of, and, and most people are only going to have an idea of a fraction of what's going on in your life and what you're going through. But if they have some idea of what you're going through, for them to be able to kind of come through and say, um, you know, to, to see you, they're going to be impressed by what they see just because of the way that you're kind of making it look. And that is in the, you have a lot going on. So as we've been kind of heading out of July and into August, we started getting all of these admonitions really to uh, stop avoiding this change that needed to happen, something that has control of us. This devil energy persists. It's not something that you can easily stop. That quitting smoking, quitting drinking, whatever it is for you, is not something that you can easily walk away from because you're doing it for a reason. There is, but it's it's not just 
the comfort that you can easily identify as your reason, there's more to it. So it, this is going to be also, there, there's something underlying this um, that makes it more difficult, that makes it like a tougher nut to crack. Um, so this is this is in your energy, large, in right here in the middle um, during the month, during the second half of the month of August. Um, but with the Temperance card and the Empress card, again, you may not exactly feel like you're on top of the world the way that you might look like you are. But the thing is, deep down, you have solved some pretty significant things that really do arm you more um, for this than you might realize. So it's going to feel like you're off balance. It's going to feel like you're not ready. Um, those are some perceptions that are going to go away. I would just say write it out because um, you're going to end up in a much better place, even with just with that connection that I'm seeing here to your higher power and your higher self. Um, there's a lot of positivity in that. I think you're in you're in for a treat as far as um, just realizing even where you are, because I think you're very aware of the fact that you haven't found necessarily everything that you're looking for, but with all those changes and feeling um, so this, you know, just out of your comfort zone, honestly, that's kind of what it comes down to. And so that's not necessarily pretty, but it doesn't matter. You kind of make it look good. Like I said, um, there's a lot of major arcana here um, as we're wrapping up too. We've got the, the tower and this is wrapping up um, like the, the month. You've got the High Priestess, the Tower, the Devil card, the Temperance card, the Empress, the Fool now. And the Fool um, is really about, it's kind of, uh, it's how you end up not thumbing your nose at the energy because it's way more respectful than that. But the way that you kind of move forward, it's very passionate and you've got this very confident it doesn't drag anybody else down to make itself feel better but it does boost itself up to make it feel better it's that kind of energy um this is fantastic this is what i would hope for for you as you're approaching um, the second half of this month, especially because um, there's a lot that's happening. You know, we've got a, a Mercury retrograde that we may already starting to be feeling the edges of here. Um, that comes into play during the second half of August. We are still throughout the month of August experiencing that 42 days of Venus retrograde. The whole month of August fits within that. So that's going to start to fade there um, towards the beginning of September. Um, I think it goes until September 4th. We do have a new moon coming up here, um, which is, I'm, I'm feeling that, but I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out if it's the feeling of the new moon or um, some of the pull from the shadow period of the, um, of the Mercury retrograde, but there is definitely more that's starting to happen. Um, and it's showing up in this energy, but the confidence and the colors, everything is just really beautiful here. Um, let's take a look at what else you need to know. This is kind of the, the big part of, you know, not, it's not really necessarily predictive. It's more just kind of what do you need to be aware of? Okay. So there may be a tendency to, um, a tendency to, I guess, try to control the situation. You, with this confidence, you are encouraged to try not to let it get too, um, extreme like it's got a feeling to it of it could potentially get pretty extreme and you don't want that you want it to remain within humble boundaries and it feels like you're the you're a good person for that you have a good solid humble streak um it also feels though like it could be something that just in a really ebullient mood kind of gets a little out of control and comes back on you a little bit. Um, and this is, so there's a, there's a need to be evaluating things in your life, but you're not necessarily encouraged to remove them, cut them out. There is something that, so you've recently had a cycle that ended. You also have, you have multiple cycles that are going on at any given time. Um, and that was an important one. You've got something here that isn't finished that you might kind of be feeling like you haven't been paying a ton of attention to, or haven't had a chance to work on, haven't had a chance to get into. It's not done. 
with you, whatever it is. You have some hobby that you're kind of maybe sorting, sort of starting to walk away from. Um, it's not ready to be done. Or maybe it's a relationship that you um, are feeling like you might be done with it and it's not you're not sure it's not done that the thing that you're not sure about is not done um there is something new emerging with this but it is emerging in a very start stop start stop sort of way which um so the knight of pentacles when it comes out in the upright is a card of steady progress it's slow um like the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles are incredibly slow energy but they are incredibly steady and reliable with the knight of pentacles in reverse there's a darkness to it that makes it a little bit less reliable and it comes from someone's lack of confidence so you want to make sure um, that it is not your lack of confidence that is stopping this from coming to you because it's a nice door that opens um, you've got some nice stability that's happening, but you do still have something that kind of needs to end, but isn't truly having the opportunity to do so. Um, this is, I'm, it's, it's hard to tell. I think with some of you, it's going to be that big thing that starts to come to a head here in the second half of August. And I think some of you, it's going to take a little bit longer. So um, it's the energy is there, regardless of whether you're able to um, address it and begin to move on it or not but the stability is also within you and that just it's got a very yes you're capable of doing this sort of feeling to it and you start to feel the support for making a good decision very early on does not necessarily make this decision that much easier so if it's a quitting smoking I know one of you is quitting smoking might be a couple of you um that's one of those things that even though you're feeling the support for it, it can still be very challenging. And another one of those places where you can just go someplace and get another pack of cigarettes. So it's not a simple thing. You have to actually execute on completing it. Um, strong arming it is not necessarily... Oh. I wish you had this nine of swords in the reverse. Strong arming it is not going to help, but it is what you're going to be tending to do. This green man in reverse, this is, is the equivalent of this emperor in reverse, and they feel pretty similar. You may be like, I'm tired of this. Just make it happen, you know. And that may be something that works really well in many areas of your life. So I don't mean to suggest that it isn't going to work well for you, but I do want to say um, it may not ideally be the way to go it may be a, a path that includes that involves relapse so let's see here what else have we got all right looks like we've got the sun all right so this is again that support for going ahead and making this decision as if the four of wands stability wasn't enough to see the sun card here and to see happiness on the other side of it is really reassuring. I still feel like it's probably going to be tougher than that to make it happen. But um, yeah, there's still this feeling of kind of holding on to something and not wanting to em embrace the truth. There's um, so if it's smoking, it's the, the truth of how people feel about it, how you feel about it, what your um, risks to your health are, etc. Those types of things where let's see, you know this, but it doesn't necessarily change it. So maybe it's obsessive thinking and you're like, I know I'm wasting a lot of my time and energy that could go to something else, but I also don't want to leave this thing behind that I'm thinking obsessively about. Or it could be any number of things. We see it showing up significantly in your energy. So um, I, feel, I feel like there's a confrontational sort of nature to it. Not necessarily um, like angry, aggressive, Aggressive, confrontational but not walking away so this truth that you're looking to um, ignore or not face either makes itself very difficult to ignore or um, you're just going to get to a place where you you're able to make the shift and this is that ability to make the shift um, so the the hanged man here in reverse would suggest um, that it's that you're not quite there that you are wanting to push yourself into this shift and it's a um it's an honorable mention but it matches up nicely with these emperor cards i think um because really it's making you it, it makes it kind of a leap that you have to take in order to say i feel like i'm ready and i'm going to do this there may be an element of you that isn't quite ready um it's like some parts of you that feel like they're ready really aren't quite ready and parts of you that don't feel like they are 
um, actually are. So it's it's not that you have poor self-awareness. It's that you're in a particularly tight spot, the likes of which you won't see again, simply because this is a unique situation. So um, there is certainly something that you can't um, that you can't see from where you are right now, as far as that journey to get you there. But I also feel like you're quite prepared to do that. And this Fool card and this King of Wands are telling me that that will be what helps to propel you across the gap to get you um, the rest of the way to where you need to go. So this is really looking up. This is a great time to resolve things within yourself with that Venus retrograde. With the Mercury retrograde, it's going to feel pretty intense and you're going to all of a sudden be face to face with those feelings. Um, you've got a lot of moon energy happening. We're right smack in the middle of two um, super moons here in August. So we've got Tomorrow I'm going to do the um, the soulmate reading and then the, ne the soulmate version of this reading. And this is just kind of the big picture, which, of course, impacts soulmates and everything. But it's really about you. And um, but the day after that, we're going to get into the new moon, which is right in between those two super moons. There's a lot of lunar energy going on here, um, definitely throughout the, the month. And that's what kind of makes it difficult to pull apart. Well, is it one of the retrogrades? Is it the moon, the lunar energy? Um, is it something else? There's there's a lot that's happening. We recently moved into a new north node alignment. I mean, there's just a lot that is impacting you, moods, etc. So without worrying about all of the details around that, we're just going to kind of look at what's here and what you ought to be doing about it. So it's a great time for change. Let's take a look at you. What should you be doing about it? What do you need to know? Um, okay, eight of spirals, time to move. Yes, time to move. There was a two of scrolls there in reverse um, that came out like this. And I think I did that. Um, so it came out like this and really it's about the, I'm just going to leave it here. It's the difficulty of making a decision. You've had a decision all over your readings for the last few, um, for the last few readings. And I just, I feel like that comes to a head here in August. I don't necessarily think it's a simple yes or no, um, option A or B type of thing. Pick up a card there. Okay, so you get a little bit more serious about this quest to find what you want. So I still haven't found what I'm looking for, but I'm actively looking for it. You are encouraged to continue doing this. This is a great time to find it. Um, this is a great time for you to find the edges of um, where you've healed with regard to the big three. Um, the And you'll have opportunities with this. You have soulmate coming in. You have other um, people that you'll be interacting with. You may May not be interacting much with a uh, previous soulmate if you are um, if you are part of the group that has a previous soulmate with any activity at all you may not be uh, having much activity as far as healing activity with that person but you may be hearing from them either way it all is an opportunity for you to look to see well how healed am I with regard to like I said the big three and that is fear of abandonment fear of rejection fear of betrayal you've got something here that you're going to realize you thought you were farther along on it than you actually are. So there's a little bit of a sense of disappointment. Do not let that hold you back. Um, do not let that hold you back because absolutely you have... Um, you've made more progress here than you are even aware of. So you've got the King of Swords. The King of Swords is going to give you a little bit of an opportunity to see that progress and to really understand it a little bit. Um, so you're going to have, it's got this kind of Six of Swords wrapped up in it. And, and it's going to, um, so we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. I looked at it and at first I thought, oh, it's the Six of Swords. It's actually the Nine of Swords in reverse, but it's got um, a little bit of this as well. So really what it is, is um, it's got that ability to kind of slow things down and be able to actually think things through without having so much emotion kind of pulling you down at the same time so not taking emotion out of it just being able to weigh it appropriately for the the time that it takes to make a decision it me it doesn't mean the the emotional piece doesn't happen or doesn't creep back in it just means you're not ruled by it so this anxiety that may have been um, really creating some problems I'm going to put it over here um, takes a break for a little while that anxiety takes a break 
you are going to be presented with something where here's where you have some real decision to make, but it's not necessarily a, a quick decision. There is no need for rash decisions here during the last uh, portion of the month. And in, as you run into new people and new things, go ahead and let them trigger you. Figure out how far you are along this path. If this person talks to you, whether it's a new soulmate or it's a previous soulmate or it's somebody in the line at the grocery store that seems like they've got your attention for no reason that you can even really identify, let it happen. Be open to it and see what happens there because there's definitely going to be an opportunity for you to see, wait, what's the point at which I get triggered because it's not going to be the same um, point that it used to be. Hmm. You've got a lot. This is not supposed to be there. You've got a lot um, going on during the second half of the month. And we just saw kind of a chariot card peek out there and it wasn't part of the reading, but it was, it was still kind of, it matches the flow of the energy. Um, still kind of a lot going on. You may find that you, you go a little while without thinking about something that's been bothering you and you get in there. There's, so there may be a little bit of guilt associated with this when you say, wow, I haven't thought about this in a while and maybe I should be thinking about it more. Maybe I feel like I'm leaving it behind. Yeah, don't worry about that. You're not leaving it behind. You're redirecting some energy, um, but this is this is still going to be here for you when you come back. Um, those emotions are still going to be there for you to work through. It's not a simple thing. Um, so here, though, you've got some struggle that is going to be a little bit more front and center, and you can see how this color kind of differs from the rest of it. This is all kind of the part where it's reasonably easy, but you've got some other stuff coming in here um, that may be a little bit more on the challenging side you're encouraged to all those fell face down um you're encouraged to get in there and really engage it um so there's a lot of get in and engage what's coming for you emotionally during the back half of this month um there's this this is definitely a fantastic feeling this is a feeling of moving toward destiny and knowing it but doing so in a variety of smaller ways so maybe it's taking up a new um a new process maybe it's adding a new process or maybe it's taking up a new hobby or it's something that is um, a little different from what you've maybe experienced but you are completely prepared to do it this is the strength card that has just come out with the star card to talk about how ready for all of this um, you truly are then you've also got the ace of wands this is like the energy of that thing that's going to set your soul on fire you guys this is um and even if you think you've engaged that Keep your eyes open because there might be something else coming your way um, that is going to ignite you and that wants a little bit of your energy. And when you meet it, whether it's a person, I don't think it's a person. I think it's another endeavor um, that it's it's going to be exciting and, and something that kind of helps to pull you forward. Also creates a little bit of that struggle. I think it's associated with the struggle and the strength card here and with this energy of what's coming in. Um, let's get you an oracle card. So this is an oracle card um, for kind of advice around everything that's on the table. Just kind of what else do you need to know about this? What other piece of advice really kind of needs to come out for you at this time? And this is a fun deck because it reminds me of that super intense, honest deck that I have. But it feels um, the message is always something you need to hear. But it's a gentle message. Um, let's see here. So this one is honesty and it says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Um, okay. That is, that's, I need to get you another one, but that is, that is really, that's self-trust. That's self-trust that is implicit within this reading. Um, the confidence, the self-trust, and it comes from deep down. This is not false confidence. It is not hubris, ubri. Um, it is not um, something, it's an earned, honest, honest, honesty, judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. This in particular reminds me of those of you who are on the soulmate journey and you're working uh, through lessons with somebody who is having a tough time making it through on the same pace as you and you're in waiting mode now. And then we've also got the trust card that wanted to come out. And this is maybe the first time I've ever gotten you um, just three oracle cards. Um, so it says, I trust, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. 
And that I believe, because you've got a strong connection here with that inner voice, and it is like a foregone conclusion that you believe it's going to guide you correctly um, by this point. So there's a lot of really positive energy here, and you are, if nothing else, completely prepared to take it on. It is a continuation of what we saw at the beginning of the month, but it's just a really, it's vibrant. It starts to come at you and wonderful ways um but you are all kinds of prepared to take it on so enjoy it enjoy what's coming to you experience it fully um that's that's the other piece that wants to come out here um so tomorrow like i said I'll, i'm going to jump in and do that um reading the soulmate version of this and then the next day is going to be uh the reading for the new moon so I can't wait to see what comes out there with this that's come out here. Um, I look forward to seeing you there. Have a wonderful rest of the day or evening.